Hi, today we are going to learn on writing a ladder logic diagram from a given process. Before we start, I would like you to watch the video from RealPass channel. Please visit, like and subscribe their channel to support and give credit. A simple everyday example of automation would be an ordinary pull-in and park automatic car wash. If we break it down step by step, it should help you understand how automation works. Once you select your wash, that input will run a certain program on the controller. Next, you drive forward until a sensor is flagged, starting the wash cycle, and another sensor tells the driver when to stop. From there, the wash will continue through the cycle that the controller is running. In a typical car wash, the nozzle spraying the water and chemicals will travel alongside a vehicle and a sensor will detect when it is past the vehicle. This saves time, water and chemicals by controlling when the nozzle spray as well as serves as an input to advance to the next step of the wash. Once the car is sprayed, the program tells the wash to spray the next chemical. This is done by the controller turning on and off each pump as it's needed. The controller then runs through the rest of the cycle and wash that was selected in the beginning. Once all steps have been completed, the driver will be signaled to pull out of the wash. Having watched the process, let's say that we are now given a task to write the PLC program using the CX programmer for the car wash as in the video presented. Based on the explanation, I have simplified, specified and add more options in the car wash process for learning purposes and divide them into four sections for easy explanation and understanding. In the first section, the driver is asked to select the desired program from A to D from a program selection. After the program is selected, a notification is played through the speaker to instruct the driver for the next step. Please move forward until the stop sign is displayed. To give you some ideas on how to start, you may have to consider first to use the interlocking so that the driver cannot choose more than one program at the same time. Second is to include a reset button just in case the driver presses the wrong program and wish to reselect. You may also put a condition in the ladder diagram that unless a program is selected, the car wash process will not be functioning. In the next sections, as the car moves, sensor 1 labeled at S. S1 is triggered to start activating nozzle 1 to spray water at the car as the car moves in section 2. Upon reaching sensor 2, the system will notify the driver to stop and park through a sign display. After some delay, the conveyor will move the car to section 3. In section 3, pump 1 and pump 2 or either one is triggered to release the chemical needed based on the selected program. Next, in section 4, scrubbing, washing, and or all blowing function are, are done based on the program selected. Before creating the ladder diagram, it is important for us to draw the flowchart of the process to easily identify its flow. This flowchart 
is divided into four sections from the beginning until the end of the car wash process. Input devices are used to instruct the program and control the output devices. For each output, timer is used to delay and give sufficient time to complete the steps in the process. Having complete the flowchart, now we are ready to create the ladder logic programming using our CX programmer. Firstly, in section 1, when the driver selects the type of program through the switch press, each button is connected to an internal relay and sealed in by the relay itself. Here, we must consider condition if the driver press more than one button. The system must be able to prevent the misorder. This is implemented using a so-called interlock. Let's say that the driver presses button A. Then the internal relay will start operate. You can see that interlock in program B, C and D will prevent any misorder. Therefore, when the driver press again, the next rung will not be able to be to be activated. Another case is if the driver press a wrong button and wish to reselect, a reset button is provided to reset the selection. Next. This internal relay must be able to direct the program to the subsequent process. All program will turn on the speaker instructing the driver for the next step. Next, nozzle 1 will operate when sensor 1 is triggered. As the car moves forward, sensor 1 will be deactivated and sensor 2 soon is activated. At the same time, nozzle 1 is delayed for 20 seconds and a sign stop and park is then displayed. Having complete the process in Section 2, the conveyor is activated to move the car to Section 3. As the car leaves Section 2 to Section 3, the sensor 2 is deactivated and will subsequently activate sensor 3. This will send signal to stop the conveyor and start operating pump 1 for program A or pump 2 for program B or both pump for program C and D. After the process, the pump is stopped and the conveyor moves again. As the car leaves Section 3 to Section 4, the Sensor 3 is deactivated and will subsequently activate Sensor 4.
this will send signal to stop the conveyor and start operating rotator for scrubbing. Next, nozzle 2 is activated to rinse off the chemical. Only for program D, the blower will be activated. Having completed the process, the sign will display finish and move. At the exit, a sensor is triggered to reset the whole system.